I'm SD, and if you go to a place like Kohl's or Target, or quite frankly, pretty much anywhere, you're going to get a dress shirt, and it's, uh, it's going to look like this. And little do many people know, they can make it look like this instead. And you do that by taking in the side seams with a sewing machine. It's super easy, but that really only gets you about 95% of the way there. You will be very happy with that 95%, but... No, 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 Let, let's, let's fill in the gap. Let's, uh, what, what consists of the rest of that 5%? Well, that's where you go back and you add darts. To those of you who have binge watched my content and I've made stare at a blank wall for a number of years, I'm sorry. I'll get to uh, what the heck this is behind me in a second. Now, between you and me, I'd be super annoyed if I clicked on a video and they spent like three quarters of the video explaining to me what darts actually were, but not everybody knows what they are. So for those people, here's the too long didn't read version. Imagine uh, pinching a line of fabric in the back of your dress shirt. And then all that fabric that you just pinched, you, um, you sew a straight stitch through it. Darts do a really good job of giving you kind of that smooth, sleek, slim appearance. Now, if you tailor your shirt by just taking in the side seams, that's fine. Like we said, that will get you 95% of the way there. But why are darts necessary? Why are they mandatory? Well, see, what I've noticed is when you take in the side seams on your shirt, really what you're doing is you are trying to solve a four-sided problem by using a three-sided solution. The thing that I've struggled with on this channel has never been content, it's never been time, it has hands down always been about space. I mean, I put my sewing machine on a stool and then I sit on a utility ladder and then I do all my filming in front of a sterile blank wall. I mean, come on. If you are presenting yourself in a professional way, I'll watch your content. If you're presenting yourself in kind of an amateur way, but it's totally deliberate, it's the reason why you're doing it, you're doing it on purpose, I'll watch that too. But there's one thing that I will not watch, and I'm sure you won't watch it either. It's watching something that's supposed to be professional. It's watching someone that's trying to present themselves as being professional, but their content doesn't feel very professional. It feels very just kind of amateur, like they don't know what they're doing, like they're rushing through it and like they're just kind of putting it together on the fly. So limiting the sides of your dress shirt is really only going to help, well, the sides and the front of your shirt. It can help out the back, yes, it can make it fit your back a lot better, don't get me wrong, it will do that, but in order to do that, you have to compensate by taking a lot off on the sides and if you take off too much, it, uh, it ends up taking off too much on the front basically, so all your buttons start pulling and yeah, it'll look good on the back, but like you'll have like buttons pulling at your chest and it just, yeah, don't do that. Well, adding darts eliminates all of those problems because it's going to, well, it's going to solve that, uh, that fourth side of the problem by leaving the sides in the front, leaving the other three sides, leaves those alone. Because one of the biggest issues that you're going to run into with trying to tailor a dress shirt yourself and getting it to fit perfectly is it's just, it's not going to fit your lower back very well at all. But darts, well... Well, I solved that problem. I was watching a how-to video not too long ago, and the presenter was just kind of fumbling over their words, and you can tell they didn't really have much of a structure to what it was that they were doing, what it was that they were trying to teach, and the way that they were trying to teach it wasn't like they were taking someone who had never done it before, and they're walking them through it step by step. They kind of just took a topic that they knew a lot about, and they said, all right, well, I'm gonna film a video on it. It almost kind of felt like they would have done it anyway. They would have done that particular thing anyway. And it just so happens that like someone came in and turned on a camera in the middle of their project and they kind of turned around and they're like, oh, uh, hey, I didn't realize there was a camera there, but I guess, I mean, I was gonna do this anyway. So why don't I just sort of talk about what it is that I'm doing? And three quick tips when you're adding darts to your shirt. One, you're gonna feel super uncomfortable the first time you do it. Trust me, you gotta just push through it. And it's gonna feel uncomfortable because it's, well, it's gonna shock you with how well that dress shirt fits, but it's gonna be like, whoa, whoa. Whoa, I feel like it's too slim. It's too form-fitting. No, it's not. It looks great. You're just, you're not used to it yet. You will be, but just not yet. Two, play around with the length of those darts a little bit. Just, just a little bit. I have a couple of shirts where I added darts to them and I ended my darts either at my shoulder blade and then I have a few more where I ended my darts like a couple inches up from there. When you have your darts end up a little bit higher up on your shirt, um, a couple of inches higher from your shoulder blades. What I've noticed is you can get it to blah, blah, blah. You can get it to hug your upper back a lot better. Um, a lot of people like end up having kind of like forward rounding shoulders, so you can use the darts to again, like just like your lower back goes like this. You use the darts at the top to kind of 
kind of angle over your upper back. But experiment with that first when you're measuring and pinning before you sew anything. If you think it's too tight, then kind of move the pins around and just see how you feel about them. I don't know, it's your call. I mean, they were dropping what it was that they were holding in their hands and just fumbling and I'm, I, I get it, I get it. And I'm a lot like them, I get it. I'm a one man show too. I couldn't tell you how many times I've had to film something with one hand and like put it together, like put my project together with the other hand and I'm sitting there trying to make it work or sew something with one hand. Yeah, that's fun. I shoot in a spare bedroom in front of a gray wall. You wouldn't even know that it's gray because I end up blowing out all my footage. And the reason why I do that is because that's the only way to actually not make me look super dark and you can actually see me on camera is to blow everything else out. And another consequence of that is if I'm wearing a shirt with like stripes on it, yeah, good luck seeing those stripes. Three, don't put darts in a shirt that has a box pleat on it. I made that mistake and you're, um, yeah, you're gonna have a bad time. No, box pleats are great. They help you kind of maintain a really good range of motion in your dress shirt. And for that reason, they do their job beautifully, but you can't put darts in, in that shirt. Because when you put darts on either side, what it does is it kind of unfolds that box pleat a little bit and it pulls at it and pulls out that fabric out. So it gives you like this, this big like hunk of fabric on your neck, just kind of chilling, just like this. Like, hey, what's up guys? Look, I got darts in my, in my dress shirt. Look at me, hey. This is a new wood background that I'm working on. I went to Home Depot and I picked up, uh, I picked up a bunch of two by six uh, pine boards and I'm gonna stain them with this color right here, but I'm sort of nervous about it because I love the look of a wood background. I think it looks amazing. But the thing is, and this is gonna be super random and kind of weird, the, uh, <laughs> the only people that I've seen use wood backgrounds are white people and it helps them stand out from the background because they're white but I feel like I might kind of blend in with the background a little bit so I hope that I hope that's not the case and what I also want to do is I want to make a table that is the exact same thing the same stain same style that way I can not measure my clothes on a floor or on a countertop or wherever it is that I choose to to do it that day and it can be a lot more consistent and professional and you know what to expect and there's more branding elements and it just plain looks better and like we said in the very beginning darts are so easy they're so easy what are you waiting for? There's a card in the end screen right now where I'm gonna show you exactly how to put darts in all of your dress shirts. Have fun not getting addicted. SD out. See ya.